everybody, Steven here. Uh, looking at the Samsung Odyssey G7 monitor today, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're having similar problems with flickering. So I've looked at a bunch of different threads. I've tried a bunch of different things. Mine comes and goes. So with this video, really the intent is hopefully we get a dialogue, treating it kind of like a thread. Comments and kind of replying to comments and then building almost like a small database of potential fixes for these problems. I'm going to cover some that I've tried myself, um, but it's like they work for a little bit and then they don't work. Um, the biggest game I'm I'm noticing this in is Doom, and uh, I don't know if that has to do with the um, what is it DSSR or whatever it is the direct sampling stuff because um, I noticed that it like it'll. F bring the texture it'll like it looks like the sharpening goes away and then it comes back and it's just like it goes blurry for a second if you're if you're staring at textures i just went downstairs and tried it on my 35 inch ultra wide my scepter doesn't happen but that's also not an rtx card uh that's the 1080 ti so i don't think that's applied in that game but i only notice it in that game as well so i have noticed that that the flickering is very dependent upon the game Satisfactory. I don't have any issues. Um, uh, Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Online. I had an issue and then I was able to correct it and I since haven't had that issue. Um, but Doom seems to be the, the biggest one where I, I just noticed that there's a problem. So, um, I looking through everything with this, the first thing I want to address is I did update the firmware. I went to um, Samsung, uh, the dot com, the website, and I put the new firmware because this is running like the 1004 and I got the 1005 firmware so everything's up to date with that um, but I downloaded it onto a USB stick you have to put it in the back there is a specific USB port that you have to put it into so updated the firmware and um, with that everything's just up to date I didn't notice a difference initially, but I was hoping like, all right, man, that's going to fix everything. Um, and then it came back. Um, so looking through all of that and going a little bit deeper, I realized like they tout this as G-Sync, but it's G-Sync compatible. And I'm noticing more issues with G-Sync on typically um, than off, but I'm noticing it with both. Um, I do full screen. And then I've done full screen plus windowed. If it's plus screen with windowed, it's really bad. So I don't do that. I know that. Um, but if you want to enable G-Sync, you have to have adaptive sync on. So looking at, all right, adaptive sync on, G-Sync off. Um, that for a while did okay. And then it'd show up again. All right, adaptive sync on and G-Sync on, which is compatibility mode since it's not true G-Sync. Um, I noticed initially more problems there, but then when I switch a setting, then I come back, it, it's fine for a second and then it'll come back again. So then that came back. Um, but with that, I did notice a difference between frames with adaptive sync on or off. Um, it seems like I had better frames with G sync, um, on, I believe, with Red Dead Online. Uh, local dimming, that was one of the things that I saw. Like, turn off local dimming. Did that. Same thing, it, it kind of like, all right, seems like it's working good, and then you run into it again. Dynamic brightness, um, turning that off. So then I've done the multiple variations, both local dimming and dynamic uh, brightness turned off. All right, well then local dimming off, but dynamic brightness on. All right, well, then reverse that, right? Um, same thing, every time it seems okay for a second and then in a little bit, I'll run into the problem again. Uh, so with this, I wanna hear from everybody else, what are, what are things that you're working on? The big issue with this is every time I do that and I tinker with the setting, I come back in and then I change my color settings. I like to do that. I don't like to do the application controlled settings or the color settings. Um, I just have a specific look that I'm going for in terms of brightness and contrast and all of that. I've 
run this with all of these settings, by the way, with using uh, application control color settings and then the NVIDIA controller uh, or NVIDIA settings. I've done both just to see maybe that's the issue. At this point, I've only had this for three days or four days, four days, and this all started to become a problem for me after I was messing with HDR. I don't, I don't know if that feeds into it. So then I turned HDR back on and tried tinkering with that and thought maybe, maybe that's an issue. I saw it again. <laughs> so um, leaving HDR off, but going to 10 uh, BCP, right? I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Um, bits per component just to see maybe maybe that's it i don't know maybe it's just a defective panel is the other issue but i've seen people have been able to fix it i've tried a bunch of different things um there's this part frustration and, and part like intrigue with i want to figure this out and see if i can fix it on my own and that's why you go with a custom pc so you get to try and um essentially fix a lot of these things you've built the computer yourself most likely um, part of it is just the notion of tinkering around with something. Uh, but at this point, I, I can't figure it out myself. Um, so asking everybody for, for help with this. I'm going to keep everybody updated as well because if this keeps going, I got the 14 days, I'm, I'm going to have to return it if I can't figure this out. At that point, get the new one in. I have seen on one thread, this guy got his in, zero problems. So with that, one of the big things though is he had the latest firmware with the new monitor. So I, I don't know if it's, it's just the panel or what's going on because uh, the flickering is distracting. Um, and I'm also kind of partly let down by the fact that it's G-Sync compatibility or compatible versus true G-Sync. But with that being said, I've mentioned this on other videos, I don't notice an insane difference between using, and this has FreeSync Premium, using FreeSync Premium, right, or just FreeSync versus uh, G-Sync. Um, the games run buttery smooth for the most part with FreeSync compared to G-Sync. Um, maybe every now and then I notice like a little something, but that's pretty rare. So with this, I may just try to leave most of this stuff off. Um, now with Adaptive Sync off, um, and not obviously you don't have access to, to g-sync at that point um things seem to run smooth all around but it's one of those issues like i may do that and then all of a sudden i it pops up for a second and then i go in and tinker with the settings a little bit more and i'm just trying to figure out what what's doing what and right now i'm trying hopefully with everybody's help i'm trying to build like a list of potential fixes and if uh, we get a good amount going and, and people can help out, then maybe we put that out there um, as just a checklist for people to go through. Here's all these solutions you can try. At the end of that, if it's not doing anything, man, you need to contact Samsung and get that thing replaced. So that's gonna be it for this one. Like I said, uh, try at least the ones that I've mentioned with this. So to cover those again, Adaptive Sync on, G-Sync off is one of the big ones that I tried, seemed to work. Um, and then just adaptive sync off in general. Um, within both of those, right, we can kind of start there. Um, local dimming off with either one, see what it does. Then if still finding something with that, turn off the uh, dynamic brightness, turn that off, see what happens. If nothing's happening, you can turn them both on and we can kind of move on to the, the next thing there. If you haven't done the firmware update, I definitely recommend doing that. You need a blank USB um, stick and you're going to have to plug it in. And in terms of the USB ports on the back, it's the one furthest away from the monitor. So you have one that's really, really close and they're stacked. It's not the one that's closest to the monitor. It's the one furthest away, which would be closer to your hand that's coming towards it. So. Um, hopefully that helps. Like I said, I haven't noticed the difference between the 10 uh, BPC and the 8-bit with the flickering. I, I ended up having an issue with both. Um, so it's I try something, it works for a little bit, and then I'm back to square one with this. So, uh, But really noticing it in Doom, and I want to point out that, again, because 
with the other games, I'll do some of these fixes and they kind of stick. Like I haven't really had problems with Red Dead Online um, now with this. Um, I haven't had any problems with Satisf Satisfactory, Subnautica Below Zero, um, Halo. Um, I don't play, I, I've seen other ones where it's like they're playing Modern Warfare and things like that. I, I don't know if it has to do with the lighting in the game either. Um, that was another thing, because on Doom, on my ultra wide, I got close to some of the light sources, and I noticed flickering within the light unit in the game. And I just don't know if that's translating to the panel, and for whatever reason, there's something going on between the game software and the monitor. I just don't know. Um, one other thing, too, uh, that I did do, I didn't notice a difference, but I did cap frames. Max uh, frame rate is 237, so that this doesn't try to go over... And that's for global settings, so that this doesn't try to go over that, because I know if you, your monitor pushes over that, we're going to have, um, whether that's screen tearing, but maybe that's feeding into some of the flickering, like I said. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm hoping to hear from you guys, and like I said, kind of band together and see what we can do to help everybody else out with fixing this flickering issue that is going on with this. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with my content in general, but really this thread, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.